they're the stealers of Mac women's basketball. And they win a lot of games with their defense and, and their physicality and intimidates people. Yep, Bowling Green head coach Kurt Miller compared the Toledo women to the Pittsburgh Steelers on Monday. And if you watch tonight, it might not be too much of a stretch. This game is truly like the backyard brawl. Tonight, probably the last time these two teams meet up at Anderson Arena, seeing as the Falcons move to the Strode next year. UT control this one for a while. Nama Shafir, she had a huge game, 21 points, coast to coast. 37-27, Rockets in the second half. A few minutes later, the local product, Yolanda Richardson from Start High School on the offensive glass. She had nine boards, 43-32. But this game far from over. Lauren Prohaska, seven minutes left. Wills it in, BG within one. It would stay about that way most of the way through. 48 seconds left, Lucretia Smith low the hoop and one by some separation. Hits the free throw, it's a four-point game, but... Tracy Pontius, the prayer, her only field goal of the game, a three, back to a one-point game. Shafir misses the free throw, but good all, huge board, one of the biggest plays of the game. She would hit both freebies. BG, though, would cut it to one again. Shafir would miss again with about four seconds left. Pontius trying to get one last sec second shot off, but no. She loses the ball, and Toledo emerges victorious, the one-point victor, 66-65. to I was glad because I know how quickly they can score. And, you know, even under a minute, you couldn't relax until the last few seconds checked, uh, ticked off that clock. So I think finally it was a time to exhale and, and enjoy the moment. It means a lot. It feels really good um, to do it once at our place and then once for the last time uh, we meet here in Anderson Arena. So it means a lot. But, you know, if we meet up again in Cleveland, uh, that's when it matters the most. Their stars stepped up. Um, and you can see how closely matched these programs are. Um, I don't think there was a big, big surprise on how the game turned out, how the game played out, both offensively and defensively.